<laughs> now, I think everybody can agree there's a single dessert that really captures the essence of Easter in just one bite. Do we know what it is? Karen yep. Cake! Right and here, here with her about. take on this classic dessert is pastry chef extraordinaire, our good friend, Sally Camacho Muller. Hey, Welcome Sally. back, Sally. Thank you. We're so excited Thank to have you. you. Thank you for having I me. I think Lucky's gonna yeah, wake up. The smell is so. coming from here. This smells so good. I, I know dogs so. like carrots. Thank I don't you. know if they like cake, though. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. You guys dig in, joining Cam at the counter. My dog is Kim, so your, your dog likes cake? Mm. Really? Everything. Really? Everything. Oh, wow. They'll eat a shoe. I mean, yeah. They <laughs> do eat lots of shoes. So, Sally, this is not your typical carrot cake. You've really sort of elevated it. It's a little bit different. Yeah, I've kind of done maybe a little plated version of it, I guess you could say. So, um, yeah, just a little, a little, little slightly different. Mm. It's different because you, you have omitted some things and added yes. others. Yes, so what I've done is actually, I'm, I'm not a fan of raisins for some reason. Growing up, I never really liked them. So I know they're a big thing to add in carrot cake, but um, I just took them out. Okay. So, um, Love you for that. Oh, good. See? I don't, I don't know like why. I don't know why. It's a big thing to put them in, but then, you know, I, 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 I like to add other things. So... <laughs> Um, and instead of the, uh, the the cream cheese frosting that we're so used to, the cream cheese yeah. icing on yes. a carrot cake, right. you have made a, a mascarpone mousse. Yes. Woo! Oh, yes. That's Super fancy. Light. Yes, mm -hmm. that's so something Very a little light. bit different, a little bit lighter. The cream cheese frosting is great. It's definitely traditional, but I wanted to bring a little bit more lightness uh, to, mm -hmm. to this uh, traditional. Okay. So let's get started then. You have your dry ingredients over here. What's in there? Yes, so we've sifted our dry. So there is granulated sugar, uh, some all-purpose flour, a few spices, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. Okay, traditional. Traditional, yes. Right. And then uh, some sea salt, okay. and then baking soda, which is our leavener. All right, yes. and then we pour in... So this is all of our wet ingredients. So we've got some whole eggs okay. and then olive oil, which I like to add for mm. this certain cake. So, I'm very happy. So do I. Yes, yes. I prefer the olive oil over the butter. Me too, yes, yeah. definitely. And I like it because it adds, it keeps the cake very moist. Yeah, which for, is, by the way, the for secret. weeks. Yes. Really? You, I make yes. lemon olive oil cake, honestly, and what? I feel like it gets moister and moister. Is it that does. possible? I think so. Uh, yeah, I'm I mean, gonna I mean say how yes. is it getting more moist the <laughs> second and third days? I yes, don't get it. yes, it holds very, very nice. Nicely. I mean, even for my devil's food cake, if something says oil in it, I'll just go ahead and just use olive oil. Right, I'll just I switch it up. Yeah, exactly. Do you um, make this at Tess? I do some versions of it. You yes, do. I do. I do. I make it when people do order it when we do specialties, and then I'll serve it in, also in the cafe. Okay. Um, so we, yes. You want that yeah, so it doesn't better, get yes. stuck. There yes, we go. So we'll help you out. we just kind of mix this together. It's a one bowl shot. It's easy mix. So it's just all your dry and then all your wet back in. Does it matter if you over mix it? Will it get tough? Do you want to be careful? Um, you do want to be careful that you don't over mix it. Yeah, you could get, but it's very slight. That oil also is it's kind gonna... of a little bit of a, a buffer. So right. it, it helps to not... Uh, you know, over mix and make it proof. tough. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, okay. I really, I really enjoy. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna even add maybe a little like orange essence or a little, little Zest, lemon, nice. lemon oil too. You can add Ooh. a few drops just to make it that little bit of extra zing. Oh, I like um, that. And but then yeah. we add our shaved carrots, right? Shaved carrots will go straight in once it's okay. all mixed up. And it's it's easy. You can just see that it's, it's you know, you don't need a mixer for this. You can no. do this by hand. It's how we do it back in the old days, no mixers. Exactly, you're <laughs> just right. Just put your hands all in there. This is a very easy and quick cake to make. Yes. Everything so you're all also, in at once. I noticed using a loaf pan versus a round pan that yes. we're used to seeing. Why? Yes. Um, honestly, my only reason is it's easier. I think. Oh, okay. I think. I think. So it's one bake. I mean, you can definitely do it in a cake pan. Um, right. You could even do it in two separate cake pans uh, so that you get like a little double decker thing. Or if a bunt. You want to put them together. A bunt is beautiful. Would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, bunt is very Easter. nice. Easter bunt. Right. Oh, we should have done a bunt. Next show. Oh. Next, next, show next show. We'll we do a bunt. bunt. Okay. Next, what I love next about Easter this, though, bunt. Is that it's, it's crunchy. Yeah, it's got yeah, on top. Yeah, it's yes. and very moist underneath. True. Yeah. Very nice. Is that oh, because good. of the is because of the olive oil or because of the little pan? I think it's because of the bake, the way okay. it's baked, right. and all okay. the sugar, and you know, we bake it uh, a, um, a bit, uh, not a high temperature. I mean, we bake it at 350. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, some people might think that's a little high. You can bake it at 325 too, if you want to be a little bit more careful. Um, but I like baking cakes at 350 because it does keep all the stuff in there and mm -hmm. moist. Yeah. Right. yeah, and look that's, how thick that. How do you feel about nuts thick. in the carrot thick. cake? Oh. You can absolutely put nuts in the carrot okay. cake. Okay. You like yes, uh, pecans do really well. Ooh. Walnuts are. Okay. Great. Yummy. Um, Here you go. Good. And then, so this guy goes in the oven. Smack them down a little bit to even them out. And I noticed you put the parchment paper as well. Parchment and a little bit of grease so that it okay. sticks. And For how long? Do you have um, 
I always like to say until it's baked. <laughs> but, but you know, it, she's in the it, kitchen with my mom. Yeah. It, yeah. Really, it really depends on um, <laughs> your loaf pan. If you've got a smaller loaf pan, it's going to take a little bit less time, but it roughly takes about 45 to 50 minutes, maybe an hour. Okay. okay. Yes. At 350. At 350. And then yes. we. We're going to pull so that out, set go. that aside, and let oh, it cool yes. for a second, and now we're going to yes. make your fancy pants wow. mascarpone yes. mousse. Yes. So How do we do this? This is a pretty quick recipe as well. So we've got our mascarpone and sugar um, and egg yolks on the stove, and we're basically like making a quick custard. Okay. And uh, so we cook it until it like coats the back of the spoon, that's what we like to say. Okay. And this is pretty well there. Um, we've got some gelatin which is our stabilizer. So this is gelatin sheets. Oh my so we've God. Glued. Oh, interesting. That looks like, like a mask yes. I did last night. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, are you sure oh my that's God. not yes. my mask? Yes. <laughs> Oh my! So you don't put it in with the water. You just no, bloom you it. just bloom it in cold water. So you always need. So it's like it's like blooming, um, you know, granulated gelatin as well. Yeah. Okay. So, you kind of have to you have to let it get do soft. It. So how long does that do take? Thing. Ten minutes. Okay. Ten minutes bloom, and then you stick it in 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 your hot mixture just to melt. Okay. And then once that is melted, then we pour it into a bowl for an ice bath. Okay. And, and then let we that chill cool this. for how long? Yes, uh, until it's chilled. Okay. Just a red I mean, you Literally, know, doesn't have like yeah, until it's chilled. 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 Until it's Until it's done. Yes, until it's done. <laughs> well, you until know, it's done. Door, in layman's <laughs> terms, that doesn't work. I know. Okay. Until, yes, and then, and then, so we have some whipped cream, okay. which we're just going to fold with it, and so it makes it, you know, it's a little bit more oh, soft exactly. and light, and then, and then we allow this to cool all together. In the fridge, wow. so oh, okay. you let it you let it set in the fridge all together uh, for maybe a couple hours, uh, okay. since you know you don't really have any hot elements there. You just want that gelatin okay. to set until it's done. Until yeah. it's until done. Until it's, until it's, done, done, yeah. until it's cool. And while you continue yes. to do that and whip that yes. together, I'm going to cut us a few slices here. Yes. Now I don't want to mess with your recipe because never you, know, you can't mess with production. <laughs> yes. But as I was looking at this, I was just starting to have visualizations of maybe putting chocolate chips in this. Oh, Would that you be can. Wrong? Oh, you know no. what I do think oh. butterscotch. Chips might be oh, good. How Butterscotch good with some mm. carrot cake. It would go perfect with carrot, yes, right? Yes, it would go good with mm -hmm. carrot cake. Okay. You know, and you know, if you do like raisins, you can use other dried fruit, like dried uh, uh, pineapple. Also, maybe some dried cranberries or blueberries okay. as well. Blueberries are really, really, really? good. Yeah. They're good, and they're so good for you too. Yes. Now, what do we have cut up there in that little bowl? So we have some fresh fruit. So since mm. you know, sometimes people like adding the dried pineapple, so then just have some okay. fresh pineapple, nice. as well as mango, just because I like mango. Okay. I think mango. Really now we just do a little yes. dollop of our mouth. So we do. Yes. Yeah. So we'll do a little. We'll do a little. A little fruit on the side there, right on top. Oh, no. And then. I mean, Yummy. would this be considered health food? Yes. Oh. Yeah. It's got fresh fruit. There's vegetables. It's got carrots. It's got veggies. There's yeah. vegetables. It's got olive oil. Thank you. There's vegetables. I mean, I mean it's basically you. like it's, a salad. It's basically it's, a salad. Right here. Okay, you guys go. finish that up. Right, and Deb, you have salad. to have a taste. It okay. is so good.